Hello and welcome to Office, home of constant interruptions. There was some kind of fire last night. I was breathing smoke all night in my sleep. I don't feel great today. There's restoration people in and out of my house constantly. I'm a little grumpy, my dudes. I am also your best friend, Cake, and today I'm going to show you my Lolita jewelry. It was very difficult to narrow down my jewelry collection. Much like my Lolita accessories video, I tried to keep it as close close to Lolita brand as possible. So these are from the Melty Ribbon Chocolate Collection from Angelic Pretty. I don't wear a lot of plastic jewelry usually, but sometimes I like it. Usually just if I'm going for the super sweet traditional Lolita look. Anything pink, anything chocolate, I bust these boys out to look adorable. So this is an Angelic Pretty piece that I Frankensteined into something a little bit more my style. It was way too sweet before, I couldn't tolerate it. So I inserted some different hardware. I changed the color of the ribbon and it gave me enough stuff left over to make a matching bracelet. I really love patisserie things. These little tea party sugar cookies are just right up my alley. I was also able to make a matching ring, so value. My friend Jackie got me this ring. I love it so much. I have no idea where it's from, but it is a little pink teacup and that's for me. Some more plastic jewelry from Angelic Pretty. It's a little purple bonbon. I wear it with my Halloween themed clothes. I've had this choker since I was like 10 years old. My dad had taken me on a business trip with him and I told him if he bought it for me, I would stop being annoying. It's nothing actually special, but it's really special to me. Some just peachy rosettes. I know they're not really jewelry, but they're in here, so they're in the video. I have other rosettes and ribbons, but I am not gonna show you. Here is my ginormous juicy charm bracelet. You could knock someone unconscious with this thing. There's a slice of cake. There's a little teapot and the lid opens, opens, it opens. Yeah. It opens. This little teacup is Disney Couture. My old boss gave it to me and it just works too well. And then there's a little cupcake, which also opens in theory. Oh, it opens easily. This necklace is by Vivian Westwood. I saw it when I was in LA last and I fell in love. It's got these cool little drips, but the chain kinks really easily and it sort of drives me bananas. These earrings are by Kate Spade and this bracelet is Angelic Pretty. They match basically perfectly and they go with the Fantastic Dolly Cinema Doll blah 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 collections. I have another bonbon ring by Rosemary Soir and a cute little cherry brooch also from Rosemary Soir. Ooh, so retro. I have this excellent sort of bolo tie deal from Alice and the Pirates. I got it in La Forêt when I was in Japan. I think it's pretty exceptional. Here is a necklace from Peppermint Fox. This is one of the ones where I changed the hardware to something a little bit darker. I love the wood jewelry thing, but you have to be really careful to never get them wet. Not for any fun gremlin-y reason, just they will be ruined. Here is another peppermint fox necklace. This one is fabric. It's got cute little harvest fruits and vegetables on it. I feel very official wearing it. Here is a peppermint fox mushroom brooch. You are probably becoming aware that I really like mushrooms. You should hopefully now be acutely aware of the fact that I like mushrooms. Mushroom daytime, mushroom nighttime. Necklace, brooch. Totally different. I've showed you this before, but I'll show you again because it's so cool. Peppermint Fox, traditional wood up here, but cool acrylic down here. It's like a little resiny, mothy, crystally thing. I like it. I wore it a lot this winter. I like it very much. Here is an annoying rabbit brooch. I had to have her. See? So obnoxious. I also have a beautiful bird skull brooch and a pumpkin house because pumpkin house. So yeah. A lot of peppermint fox. I'm also really into milk ribbon. Here is a little I woke up like this cherub. The famous most embarrassing behavior pin. Some sweet little circusy boys and some hands. They're pretty cool. I like them. Okay. On to the compartment that I have been dreading, the automatic honey compartment. Not because I dislike automatic honey, just because I'm ashamed of how much of it I have. I just really like it. This for me is my end all be all automatic honey piece. I would actually like to collect it in every available color. It's a bat, but it's also a cookie. It says eat me, it has sparkly eyeballs. I love it. 
The thing with Automatic Honey is that the motifs work so well with different outfits, so I end up getting the same piece in different colors often. This is a little Creatures of the Moonlight book. It's got moths and flowers on it. This bat brooch was from the same collection. It's so cute. I've showed you this before. Cat and bats. Again, I wear these with my Halloween-y outfits. We've got some tarot-y, Ouija-y, coffin-y things. And different colored dupes in case I'm wearing a different color outfit. I have this lovely necklace from their most recent release. It says little tears on it. I did accidentally push this into my sternum and that was big tears, but like so metal. This necklace is magical angel tears. I really love the colors on this. And this is a big tarot necklace just in case I didn't have enough tarot. I also love their sweeter stuff like this seahorse mermaidy necklace. Did you have any of those seahorse my Little Ponies, because I did. We have a Mermaid Cove seashell perfume bottle ring and the cute little dreamy pegacorn necklace with matching ring, because you know how I do. And finally, chokers. This one was a free gift from Angelic Pretty. I don't really wear it, but I keep it just in case. Automatic Honey has come out with three different style chokers. I got them all in black because they fit into my normie wardrobe really well, but I also got some dupes in the colors. This is their most recent release. Cute little pierced heart with some little jemmies. This was the fall release little star and bat wings to go with the bat brooch. And this was the first release. It's got angel wings and this really dreamy, sparkly charm that I like very much. And that is it. You have successfully sat through all of my Lolita specific Lolita branded jewelry. I hope that's what you wanted. If you have any questions for me or any suggestions for future videos, please leave them below in the comments. Or if you'd like another slice of cake, you can hit me up on Instagram or Twitter at Cake Calamity. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you again after not too long. Bye.